Soviet gymnasts have been fascinating the world for decades. They have won more than 300 medals at the Olympic Games, World and European Championships. One third are gold. Soviet gymnasts. Script Lev Arkadyev and Lev Rossoshek. Direction Galina Ivanova. Camera Nikolai Verblovsky, Central Popular Science Film Studios. The strongest are all here on the winner's stand. To get to the top at the USSR Games is more difficult than to win international contests. Yuri Karalov, the overall 1981 world champion. Dmitry Belazerchev, world and European champion. Both gymnasts are leaders in the USSR national team. Nikolai Andrianov led it for many years. The old Russian city of Vladimir is known for its unique monuments of architecture and excellent gymnasts. The Andrianov couple is known everywhere. Nikolai has been at three Olympics. He is an overall winner of the Montreal Games. His wife, Lubov, has also won many contests in other countries. Little Seryozha and Balodya are going in their mom's and dad's footsteps. Nikolai Andrianov is now the senior coach of the country's youth team. Yuri Karalov carried on the old Russian city's fine gymnastic traditions. Nikolai and Yuri have much in common, and it's not only talent, it's their attitude to sport.
At the Moscow World Championships in 1981, Karadov captivated both the public and referees by the ease with which he performed the most sophisticated elements and his strong willpower, so surprising in such a young man. The 19-year-old student of the Vladimir Teachers Training College literally broke through to the upper steps of the winner's stand. Olga Bichirova, a Moscow schoolgirl, flared into prominence for the first time at the championship, and she accepted her first high title with modesty and dignity.